Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and iOS 18.5 is finally here. A very nice update with a few new features and changes, nothing that big, but it's actually a very good update. It brings a lot of stability to iOS and also it has a pretty decent battery life and the performance is actually really, really good. Something you'd expect out of a 0.5 update. So in today's video, I will share with you guys a few things that I believe you must do once you have updated your iPhone to the new iOS 18.5. And first of all, check your updates and make sure that everything is as it should. First of all, head on to your settings, go under general and go to software update. Now, if you're updated to iOS 18.5 on the public release of iOS 18.5, you're good to go here. If you had any of the betas of iOS 18.5, then make sure that you have updated and you're not still on a beta. So just refresh here and make sure your device is up to date. And then what you need to do is go to the automatic updates here and make sure you have everything here set on automatic. Now with iOS 18.5 being released, the next one will be iOS 18.6 but that will be released sometime in summer. So between now and the release of iOS 18.6, there will most likely be another point update, maybe even two that will be released during this time to just target specific bugs and different security patches for iOS. So you want to make sure you actually install those smaller updates, which we know don't bring any new features, but are actually really important because they fix very serious security bugs. So make sure you have your updates enabled right there. And of course, the security responses as well. Now, as you probably know, iOS 19 beta one is coming out in less than a month now. In June, June 9th, that will be the day that Apple releases the first beta of iOS 19 to the devs. Now, as you know, Apple has made it very easy for anyone to install a beta on their device. And if you're planning to install iOS 19 beta one on your device, even though I wouldn't suggest that you actually install it on the daily device, because probably it will have a lot of problems with the first beta. But if you just decide you want to do it, then right now, after you have updated to iOS 18.5, it's probably a good time to turn off your beta updates for iOS 18. So under the general settings, when you go to a software update, you will have your beta updates right here. And if you have been using the betas of 18.5, you will probably have this or the public beta enabled. So just go ahead and turn them off. So that way you don't install the beta of iOS 18.6, which will be released probably next week, but you wait a few more weeks and you get the first beta of iOS 19. Now with the release of a new software update, especially a bigger one like 0.5 here, there will be a ton of apps, especially the more popular apps that will be releasing new updates for this software update. So what I suggest you do once you have updated your device to the new iOS 18.5 is that you go ahead and check if your apps are up to date. Head on to your app store, go to your account right there and check if your apps are all up to date. Or what you can also do is head on to your settings, go under the app section here, go to the app store and right here under automatic downloads, make sure that you have enable app updates. That way, once these apps will release new software updates, there will also be an update that will be installed on your device automatically without you having to bother with that at all. Another thing you can update if you have an update right here will be the carrier update. That is a usual an update that will be released for devices based on different carriers, of course, but it gets released after a new software update. So what I suggest you do, of course, head on to your settings, go to general and then go to the about section. Just click on the about section, stay there for like 10 to 15 seconds and if there is an update for your carrier it will pop up in the middle of the screen all you have to do is just tap on the install button it will take a few seconds and it will be installed on your device doesn't need to reboot the device or anything just like that you will have your new carrier update which should help of course improve your seller connectivity now another thing i suggest you do immediately after you have updated your iphone to the new ios 18.5 
is check the battery health of your device. Now you can see right here, if I go to my battery, go to the battery health, it is at 91%, but it hasn't been updating here for like the last five to six months. It's really interesting, really annoying actually to see the maximum capacity just staying there at 91%. Now this will happen for a lot of users. And once you install an update, that's when iOS will basically recalibrate every part of the iPhone and will show you the true battery health even though I've updated mine a lot of times until now and it doesn't show but one day when I update it, it will show the true battery health and it will probably be way less more like like maybe 85 or 86 percent so what I say why I say you actually should check this is that if you have a battery health and it's around 80%, it might have dropped once you have updated. It actually doesn't have anything to do with the update, but that's the time when your iPhone will show you the real battery health. And let's say you have a battery with the health at 81 or 82, still at the maximum capacity, working as it should. Once you update, it will drop below 80%, and then when your iPhone is when your iPhone will actually slow down a lot. So you need to check and make sure that it's above 80%. And after you have updated your device, now it's a good time to take a few minutes out of your day and check the privacy of your device. So I'll head on right here under privacy and security. First of all, go to location services. If you have it enabled, make sure you go ahead and check all the apps that you have right here. Make sure that no app that doesn't need to have your location actually has your location. If you're not using that, then you're good to go. Then you will have here a few other things that are really important. Your contacts, your files and folders. Then you will have right here also your photos. You will have things like your Bluetooth, your camera, your network, which is really important, your microphone. All these, of course, are really important and can be accessed by a lot of apps if you let them do so. So you will find here a list of all the apps and you can go ahead and disable here any app that shouldn't be there. So again, do that for a lot of things here like the Bluetooth, your camera, your microphone, local network, your photos, and again, files and contacts as well. And last but not least, we're talking here about Apple Intelligence and Siri. So if you have a device that does support Apple Intelligence and Siri, but you actually don't need it or don't ever use it and you decided to turn it off, once you have updated to iOS 18.5, I suggest that you go ahead and take a look and see whether it has turned on back again automatically. That has happened with 18.4, I believe a lot of users have been reporting their Apple intelligence turning on itself after they had updated their device. So if you just don't wanna have it enabled, make sure you go ahead and check it and see if it's enabled or not because it might have happened that it has turned on back again by itself. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are a few things that I believe are very important and you should do all of these once you have updated your device to the new iOS 18.5. Again, this is a really great update performance, stability, battery, everything is good. Of course, not a lot of new features, but we're almost on the first beta of iOS 19 now, so we cannot expect to see any new features and changes this far into iOS 18. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Again, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more iOS 18.5 videos, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.